Mr. Wives Mary Brown Gifts Dog Infamous Necklace Cody Gave Her Hello guys, I am Sabrina, to you welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe the channel and press bell icon for latest news updates. Sister Wives star, Mary Brown gifted her pup an infamous necklace that her ex-husband, Cody Brown, gave her. They have not had much of a relationship for over a decade and now she has been granted a release from their church. This means that they are not married legally as they divorced in 2014 or in the eyes of God. So what did she do with a treasured gift from her ex? Mary Brown gifts dog infamous necklace Cody gave her. For over 30 years, Mary Brown was wife number one. She and Cody Brown wed in 1990 and proceeded to take on two more wives, Janelle Brown in 1993 and Christine Brown Woolley in 1994. The OG3 may have had their issues and some drama, but they also had a system especially when they lived under one roof. Christine was the homemaker and raised the children whereas Janelle was the breadwinner. She preferred to be out of the house and in an office, she liked her independence. Mary was in school and had a job but that was jeopardized when Sister Wives began in 2010. Robin Brown coming in was supposed to help but ultimately, it was a failure. As Christine and Janelle started to feel the favoritism toward Robin by Cody, they questioned where they belonged. In 2021, Christine excited the family with Janelle and Mary both following. One thing Cody preached was loyalty. He claimed his only loyal and obedient wife was Robin, but in season 6, Cody sang a different tune. Cody presented Mary Brown with a custom necklace that said Fidelis. It is Latin for faithful, but since he just claimed his first wife was never loyal, she found a better use for the gift. Mary took to Instagram to show her own gifting ceremony where she gave her dog the custom F.I.D. Elias necklace. Zona seemed thrilled with her new accessory and clearly met all of the standards to wear such a fine piece. Shaded Perfection Mary Brown's followers loved her shade. They also could not believe Cody Brown would say she was not loyal and then fail to roll the clip of him gifting her the necklace. So many fans remembered that exact moment and had a lot to say in the comments. Ever since he said, Mary has never been loyal. That necklace has been on my mind. Mary, I love all your shade. That man-child did not deserve the OG wives. Y'all were saints. This has got to be the best shade thrown. She won't stab anyone in their kidneys. A dog's love is loyal and fans are happy Mary finally left when she did. They have noticed how much she has changed and appreciate it so much. Her content is fun and silly which is what they want to see. Hopefully, Zona will treasure the necklace forever. However, how Sister Wives Cody Brown could repair relationship with his kids. Fans of Sister Wives are watching Cody Brown go down a rabbit hole when it comes to facing his family issues. The father of 18 can't seem to understand that the pain and suffering have been due to his own hands. Outsiders easily can see that the Brown children will always be the kids in the situation. Cody is waiting for them to come to him and apologize. In reality, it should be the other way around. Cody still marches to the beat of his own drum, but at this rate, it's a war drum and he is about to love the home field advantage. Gabe Brown opens up about his father's pitfalls. In the most recent episode of Sister Wives, Gabe Brown opens up about the ongoing situation with his father. As followers will recall, the significant fallout occurred during COVID-19 when Cody tried implementing stricter rules than the CDC. Cody just wanted his large polygamous family to conform to his wishes, but his teenage boys had other plans. Cody and Janelle Brown's sons wanted to see their girlfriends, and eventually Cody tried kicking them out of the family home. Luckily, Janelle stepped in before that could happen. But the fight has stuck with Gabe, who has been filmed repeatedly crying over the situation. This week, Gabe visited Janelle for breakfast, sharing that Cody had hit me up. But the 22-year-old added, it was strange because he was like, hey, I miss you. And then he was like, he kept, like, phrasing it like I owed him an apology. Gabe felt ambushed. Eventually, I was just like, hey, unless you're, like, actually ready to have a relationship and fix things, then we're not going to talk anymore. He came back a couple of days later and texted me. He's like, hey, I've been, like, thinking about what you've been saying. I forgive you. Please forgive me. I was like, forgive me for what? Like. What's going on here? Cody Brown doesn't understand the definition of accountability. Gabe wondered why his father found it so difficult to understand the proper protocol. 
Gage shared with Janelle, I told dad that if he doesn't change and he can't take accountability, then I just won't ever see him again, and I'm perfectly oak with that. To be honest, I think most of the Brown children have made the same decision regarding their dad. Janelle, who divorced Cody in December 2022, noted that she doesn't know what it would take at this point to get things back on track. The second wife of Cody shared that the entire family is so busy and they're starting to spread out across the country. But Gabe had a different thought process, noting, I think it would take dad really setting things straight. And I think that that would take an act of God. Janelle has always taken her kid's side, adding their dad had been expressing things to them just off the cuff about, you know, he wished that he would have waited and just married Robin. I don't know what dad says that to their kids, but my kids have many stories like that. Cody Brown can still fix this mess. I don't love Cody as a father figure, but I hope that he can still redeem himself. Everyone makes mistakes, and sometimes I think his children forget that this is Cody's first time at life too. There is no manual for marriage or raising children, but to have any hope of making amends, he has to take accountability. I know I sound like a broken record, but Cody just needs to say, I'm sorry for X, Y, Z, and allow his children to explain why they feel the way they do towards him. If Cody can admit his faults, which feels undoable currently, and just fall to his knees, I think some of his children will be open to reconciliation. However, Cody has chosen to do the complete opposite. If what Gabe is saying is true, the patriarch has chosen to gaslight and manipulate his offspring. At the rate he is going, Cody will end up alone and miserable due to his inability to apologize. After a while, a cranky old man act won't win anyone over, so Cody needs to think hard and either shape up or ship out. However, Mary Brown tells Cody we're exes in Sister Wives Preview, I'm not your wife anymore. Mary Brown is speaking her truth to Cody Brown on Sister Wives. In a preview for the show's Sunday, October 20 episode, Mary made it clear to Cody that she was done with their marriage. I'm in a really good place, Mary, 53, said in a confessional. I feel very peaceful about our situation. He doesn't. Some of the things that he's saying are really, really, really mean. He clearly has a lot of internal issues that he still needs to work on here. Cody, 55, told Mary that he actually likes her for the first time in six years. I think it was more than that, be honest with yourself, she retorted. The episode was filmed at the end of 2022, just weeks before Cody and Mary publicly announced that they were ending their spiritual marriage after more than 30 years together. I'm not going to go hang out with you at Christmas, Mary warned Cody. I'm not your wife anymore. When Mary and Cody split, his spiritual marriages to Christine Brown and Janelle Brown had already ended, leaving Robin Brown as his only remaining wife. I do have a wife who says that Mary is our family and you need to have her come over for Christmas. Cody pointed out, I normally just disregard her opinion. Mary rolled her eyes at that comment, telling her estranged husband, no you don't. Cody appeared to get offended by this take as he responded, oh yes I do. Really? You don't know me if you think that I'm not a man of my own mind. Mary assured Cody that she knows he makes his own decision, but added, I also know you take into consideration other people's opinions. At that point, Cody was ready to move on to a new topic and admitted, I don't know how we define ourselves with each other from here. Mary had an answer and quickly replied, We're exes. Let's be real. You don't need to worry about me. She also got in one final dig by telling Cody, I just wish you knew how amazing of a person I really am. Cody and Mary dealt with relationship troubles for years before they finally decided to call it quits. Things really boiled over in 2015 though when Mary was involved in a catfish scandal that was exposed after she began an online relationship with someone else. The man she thought she was talking to turned out to be a woman the whole time. In 2023, Cody admitted that he was still extremely angry about the situation. However, Mary explained that things were bad in her relationship with Cody long before the catfish scandal erupted. I'm going to clarify something here, and this is what a lot of people really misunderstand, and that is the fact that a lot of people look at the catfishing as a defining moment of the demise of our marriage or even the family, she said. And it's really not, because there was a lot of things that were happening for years prior. However, sister wives, Mary Brown celebrates her new loving companion while throwing shade at Cody Brown. 
Mary Brown from Sister Wives feels fortunate to have her furry friend Zona by her side following her difficult split from Cody Brown. The couple married in April 1990, and two years later, they opened their marriage to include Janelle Brown. Christine Brown also joined the Brown family in the following years. However, dynamics changed drastically when Robin Brown married Cody in 2014, leading him to focus all his attention on her and causing Mary to fall for a catfish online. Realizing her relationship with Cody was essentially over, Mary recently requested a release from their marriage through their church. Mary was heartbroken as her relationship with Cody started to fade, and he began prioritizing his marriage to Robin. Therefore, she occasionally takes subtle digs at him. Mary recently shared a picture of her loving and loyal companion, Zona, stating, Best travel buddy, gives the best cuddles, makes me laugh and smile on the daily. Despite not having Zona for long, she has quickly become vital in Mary's life. Observant Sister Wives fans noted the subtle dig at Cody in Mary's Instagram post celebrating her dog, with one Instagram user commenting, Love these subtle jabs without being cruel. What does Mary's post about celebrating her pet mean? Mary has found comfort in Zona following Cody's betrayal. Even though Mary spent over 30 years with Cody, she never truly experienced love with him. Just two years into their marriage, Cody wanted to make their relationship polygamous. Janelle joined their family soon after, followed by Christine and Robin. Despite facing fertility challenges, Mary didn't receive sufficient support and affection from her husband. Cody ultimately shattered Mary's heart by claiming he was never in love with her and that Robin was his true soulmate. After being with a selfish and disloyal man like Cody, Mary is now finally finding unconditional love with her pet. After years of struggling with marital issues, Mary finally announced her split from Cody in January 2023. However, even though she has been single for over a year, she hasn't yet found a new partner to spend the rest of her life with. Unlike Christine, who became engaged to David Woolley within a year of dating, Mary seems to be busy embracing her newfound freedom and single life. Rather than rushing back into the dating world, she appears to be focusing on her new business ventures while finding joy in small moments, such as playing and traveling with her dog. Our take on Mary celebrating her pet. Mary doesn't seem eager to jump back into the dating scene. Mary is a strong and independent woman who previously handled Cody's irrational claims of not loving her with poise and logic. Yet, her subtle jabs at him suggest that she still has lingering pain from her past mistreatment. Since the Sister Wives cast member finds joy and comfort in her pet dog, she may hesitate to open her heart to new love and risk falling in love again, while Mary's devotion to her pet is truly commendable. Sister Wives viewers would love to see her find her true love, just like Christine. However, everything my Kelty Brown has called Cody out for after he threw her sister under the bus. For the longest time, my Kelty Brown was the only alliance Cody Brown had when it came to his older children. The Sister Wives star had done a fabulous job at ostracizing his polygamous family thanks to his selfish tantrums. But my Kelty often chose to be Switzerland when it came to her father and Robin Brown, hoping to be the one to bring peace to the unstable family. However, after watching the newest episode, my Kelty changes her allegiance and calls Cody out for his wrongdoings. Cody Brown mocked Maddie Brown during a recent Sister Wives episode. Cody isn't great at keeping his opinions to himself. While most grown adults know better than to talk about their children, Cody seems right at home, throwing his older spawns under the bus. During the most recent Sister Wives episode, Cody called Maddie Brown a gossip. The father of 18 went on to claim, they're purposefully leaving me out of their lives to punish me for a crime I didn't commit. During his fight with Robin, the gun salesman shared, you saw Madison take her kids and scuttle them away from me. She never told me she was pregnant. She never told me she was going to have a baby. During the same episode, Janelle Brown, Maddie's mom, shared, the only thing the kids are upset with him about is the way he has treated his family, the way he has completely like ditched out. Janelle explained, and really, Maddie doesn't have any contact with him. She is very protective of her children. Cody has not been there since Evie was born and Evie is three and a half. And she didn't want him to just drop in and be like, oh, I'm your grandpa. And then be like, what? Who is this guy? You know what I mean. Mike Kelty Brown calls out Cody Brown. 
Cody claimed in his confessional that it wasn't fair to assume that grandparents can be in their grandchildren's lives all the time. But to viewers and Maddie, it just felt like another excuse. Mike Kelty, who is Maddie's sister, took it upon herself to call out their father for his careless words. The Sister Wives star took to her Patreon to set the record straight. In a scathing review, she noted, instead of blaming the children or blaming how they feel about his relationship with his other wife, or blaming the parents or blaming gossip or whatever, if he just said, look, I understand I did blank wrong, I'm sorry, can we talk about it? I feel like that would go such a long way. Michaelty revealed to followers that she had to tell her father when she was owed an apology. The mother of three noted, I have said, look, dad, this situation happened. I needed you to do this for me and instead you did it. You blamed somebody else and because of that, we're having issues. Michaelty then added that after she calms her dad down, he usually takes accountability. But it is a long road to get there. Michaelty Brown has some good insight. Cody's daughter added, I've had to go to him point blank and say, look, this is what happened, and he has taken accountability directly with me. He has taken accountability, but during that accountability, he also blames someone else. As Sister Wives fans know, this is an ongoing theme when it comes to Cody handling his issues. My Kelty went on to tell fans, and what I needed and what I think all of my siblings needed was just for him to not to do any blame, not necessarily take all accountability but say, I'm sorry. I know what I did wrong, how can I fix it? What can I do? Mike Kelty and Cody's relationship is on the rocks. She added he could still say, I think you did wrong as well, but taking some accountability, I feel like would go such a huge way. Tony Padron added, there's certain amount of pride that Cody is showing and at no point does he want to step down and admit fault or lay down and become vulnerable. He's like referring to his children in this very prideful way where he feels like he can treat these other humans equally because some of them are adults. But he doesn't quite understand that they're his kids, you'll still be standing in some sort of parental role forever. And he just never wants to stand down. Tony was spot on with his analysis and the loss of the relationship, so let's hope Cody tuned into this particular episode. However, Sister Wives Peyton Brown wants mom to be safe as Christine Brown enjoyed New's relationship. Christine Brown is sparking worry in her son, Peyton Brown, after entering a new relationship. The Sister Wives star left Cody Brown as the first of his four wives to split from him in November 2021. Over a year after Christine Brown left Cody, she debuted her new relationship to the public. The Sister Wives star is now with David Woolley, who her children are a little wary about. Peyton Brown worries for mom. Christine shared that she and David Woolley took a week to say those magical words. Brown explained, He did say it first, I said it right after though. The kids appeared to be shocked by this admission. In his confessional, Peyton explained, I want mom to be happy, I want mom to be safe and I'm holding judgment until I meet him, but from what I've seen and heard, she's happy and I think she'll be okay. Christine got engaged to Woolley two years after leaving Cody. She shared that she is very in love with her husband, revealing, David treats me like a queen and tells me I'm beautiful every day. She added, I've never been in love like this before and the world seems like a brighter place with him in it. I'm so excited for the wonderful adventure we are going to embark on for the rest of our lives. The couple got married on October 7, 2023, after they first began dating in late 2022. They wed with Christine's sister wife, Janelle Brown, by her side, as well as the majority of her and Cody's kids. They declared love after family meet up. Christine had only just met David's family when he declared he loves her. He pulled her to him and cuddled her, to which she felt calm for the first time in her life. She explained how Hart was racing, revealing, I just realized I loved him then and I would do this for the rest of my life. It was the most amazing memory, experience and then our souls just cinced up. Our heartbeats cinced up, I realized I was in love with him, Christine added and has said how Wooly is kind, a good father, and a grandfather. She even admitted she never thought she'd find love like this. However, sister wives, Mary Brown got formal acknowledgement that Cody Brown abandoned her. She's moving on. 
Sister Wives star Mary Brown finally got formal acknowledgement that her ex-husband Cody Brown abandoned their marriage by their church leaders, and she's taking the information as a sign to move on. Though Sister Wives season 19 is different than any other season of the series by far, the relationship dynamics between Cody and Miri haven't changed much since the end of Sister Wives season 18. Cody, the patriarch of the Brown family who once had a quartet of wives in his plural family, has been dealing with the shift of going from four wives down to one, Robin Brown. Mary, Christine Brown, and Janelle Brown have all left the patriarch in the last two years, causing chaos for the extended Brown family as they navigate the changes in their relationships. Mary and Cody's marriage, which was the first of the plural Brown family, spanned over 30 years, but things became difficult when Cody fell for Robin and emotionally distanced himself from his other wives. While Mary continued to try to make things work, she had a few missteps of her own as she moved through the 2010s. Mary's decision to leave Cody and their marriage behind wasn't taken lightly. Mary requested a release from her marriage to Cody from their church. Their religion doesn't acknowledge formal divorce. Although Mary and Cody's relationship wasn't always bad, things began to get worse after Robin joined the family, which pushed Cody and Mary to get a legal divorce. Though she was still his wife spiritually, the pair were legally separated so that Cody could legally marry Robin and adopt the children she had from a previous marriage. Despite knowing that Mary wouldn't be happy about having to split from Cody, she graciously took a step back in hopes that it would keep her marriage safe. After years of difficulty, Cody and Mary decided to step away from their relationship in the final of Sister Wives season 18. Though Mary revealed that it was a mutual decision, Cody tried to push the narrative that Mary had made it on her own and pushed him into splitting up. While he was hopeful that they wouldn't actually have to go through the church to end their relationship, Mary decided to do things as formally as possible. She requested a release from her marriage to Cody from church leaders, and they quickly granted the release to Mary. The church granted Mary her release on grounds of abandonment. Cody has denied he left Mary behind emotionally. Mary's release came with a formal statement from the church that shared they felt the release was appropriate due to Cody's abandonment of the relationship. While Cody has been adamant for years that he didn't leave Mary behind when he brought Robin into the fold, the release begs to differ. Explaining that Cody and Mary's marriage didn't have the spousal support that the church deems sufficient, the release allows Mary to move about her life as an unmarried woman. Sister Wives Mary's release will allow her to be more independent in the eyes of the divine, which she holds highly. Cody can't deny that he left Mary high and dry. He didn't consider her feelings. Although Mary's release was something Cody knew she was seeking out, seeing that the church has officially deemed that he'd abandoned her in the eyes of their leaders was likely a surprise. Cody seemed to be of the mind that his relationship with Mary was mutually abandoned, but it was clear that Mary still felt that there was something she could do to win her husband back. The sister wives patriarch may be upset that Mary's chosen to take a different path and find herself released from their marriage, but his behavior is what helped push her to that decision. However, Sister Wives David Woolley outs his stalker. Sister Wives newcomer David Woolley is new to TLC and he picked up a stalker. When he confronted them, Christine Brown's husband didn't seem to mind the attention too much. David Woolley and Christine Brown have tons of fans. With millions of Sister Wives fans following the reality TV show, it's unsurprising that they might pick up stalkers. Everywhere they go, TLC viewers recognize them. Ever since they announced their engagement in April last year, all eyes have been on the happy couple. Sister Wives fans adore David Woolley because he seems great with Christine Brown's daughter, Truly Brown. Also, from what TLC viewers can see on social media, he treats his wife like a queen. In May last year, he described his wife as a keeper, and ahead of this weekend, they both shared about their first wedding anniversary, and he talked about his stalker, the stalker outed by David. Occasionally, Christine Brown shares photos of herself traveling to nice places with her new husband. TLC fans saw them in Moab, Sedona, and Disneyland. But this week, when he shared about his stalker, it was her husband who shared a photo with Sister Wives followers on Instagram. David Woolley claimed that he had a stalker and he doxed them. He confronted them, met with them, but liked what he found. In his caption, he said to his Sister Wives fans, 
was in Sedona a few weeks ago. It's really, really pretty there. Just like Christine Brown Swizz, I'm so glad she found me and stalked me. This last year has been hashtag a hell of a ride. She's the most thoughtful, loving, caring person. I'm enjoying this ride and want to just keep riding. TLC fans thought it was marvelous that Christine Brown had stalked down her man, so they took to the comments to discuss how David Woolley called his special love a stalker. TLC fans comment on the couple. Many people love that David Woolley had a good sense of humor, and they love that Christine Brown stalked him. Here are some of their reactions. I love you too. I was at Disneyland yesterday and thought I saw you, Christine and Truly. Thank you for making her so happy and her dreams come true. She lights up when she is around you in all the pictures I have seen. I'm glad you found each other with everything both of you have had to go through. Wow. She stalked you. You sure? However, I actually like you now. Sister Wife star Cody addresses relationship dynamics with Mary after Split. Season 19 of Sister Wives is set to release a new episode on Sunday, October 20, 2024. People's exclusive sneak peek of the upcoming segment, released on October 18, 2024, showed Cody Brown having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with his ex-wife Mary Brown. He chimed in on his relationship dynamics with Mary after the cessation of their marriage. Cody admitted that for six years he disliked her, but that was not the case anymore. He added that his feelings towards his ex-wife had developed. While speaking to Mary, the 55-year-old male cast member said, Where we are now is, I actually like you now. Hearing the Sister Wives star confess his feelings, Mary jokingly added, Gods be praised. In the exclusive clip, Mary also shared her side of the story, detailing her headspace after her divorce from Cody. The 53-year-old cast member revealed she was happier after last week's episode, which saw her officially end her marriage to Cody through their church. What did Cody and Mary discuss in the exclusive sneak peek of Sister Wives? At the clip's start, Mary revealed she was in a really good place, having officially ended her marriage with Cody in the previous episode. While Cody was reluctant to participate in getting a release from their church, the Apostolic United Brethren, Mary went ahead alone and severed ties with him. The sister-wives couple had been legally divorced since 2014 after getting married in 1990. While speaking to the cameras in the upcoming segment, Mary admitted she felt very peaceful about their situation, however, Cody did not. She added that some things he said about them were really, really, really mean. Mary further accused him of having a lot of internal feelings that he needed to work on moving forward. During his conversation with Mary, Cody revealed he disliked her for six years. However, Mary insisted it was more than that, urging him to be honest with himself. The former sister wives couple then discussed plans for the holidays. Cody revealed his only remaining wife, Robin Brown, requested him to have Mary over for Christmas since she was their family, to which Mary replied, I'm not going to go hang out at Christmas. I'm not your wife anymore. Cody stated that he usually did not disregard Robin's opinion as Mary pointed out, no, you don't. Unimpressed by Mary's remark, the sister wives star told his ex-wife that she did not know him as she thought he was not a man of his own mind. Mary, unwilling to step on his toes, reassured him that she did not doubt his capability to make his own decisions, however, she knew how considerate he was of people's opinions. Looking back on their relationship, Cody admitted he was unsure how to define themselves after the split. Hearing that Mary said, We're exes, let's be real. You don't need to worry about me. I just wish you knew how amazing of a person I really am. Mary and Cody confirmed their split in January 2023 after being together for 32 years. Before they severed ties with each other, Cody's other wives, Christine Brown and Janelle Brown also separated from him within a year of each other. In the previous episode, Mary explained that their divorce in 2014 was for legal reasons, but their marriage was alive. Back in 2014, Cody and I did do a legal divorce, and for me, that whole process was purely for the fact that he could then marry Robin legally and then adopt her three older kids. Hello lovely viewers, welcome to my channel. I am Sabrina, hope your day is so well. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.